Okay, this is going to be my first attempt to see if I can get this as good as my JD and Johnny DB's. <coughs> so just waiting for this to load up. It all looks pretty good. Dropped into game. That looks fine. I'll speed that up a little. Oh. That was the wrong one. Speed that up a little bit. There we go. Don't need those at the moment. Oh, the chicken's a bit noisy. They all seem to be fine. Let's check the uh, come on. Want to check my this is where the store I may actually move it out a little bit more, but we'll see if this thing here works okay. That all seems to be working fine, so that's great. Oh! Super strength there. Okay, we'll go and hook up a trailer. So I can test just to make sure. The silos are working okay. Pretty good. I'm going to go and check the, um, we'll feed our chickens while we've got the wheat out. Let's back in. Um, I did some recording last night of Rusty Cakers with uh, JD, Johnny and Perrin. We were hoping to get Jim to join us, but it was probably past his bedtime. As I'm here in Kiwiland, Perrin's in Australia. JD, who sounded pretty uh, tired last night, couldn't work out his controls properly, was in Kentucky. I'm, I'm in I'm in, um, I was getting sidetracked by one of the kids just walking into the room asking for ice cream. It's only 20 past 11 in the morning, so it's, told them they aren't allowed any until after, um, lunchtime. They've got to wait till after lunch before they're allowed to have ice cream. I'm just trying to get this last bit here sorted out to make sure that this is working fine. Yep, that's going down. See if it's turned a little bit of grass into silage.
this will have 3,200 litres done. So far, so good. I don't think there's all the values there. Our new water tank that uh, Pyong got me sorted out with. Oh! Uh, it does say for you. Yep, that looks fine. So this would be the new water tank we're going to start using on this map anyway. When I get it around to getting it finished, I'm hoping to get Johnny from J&J &J modding. May be hopefully coming on board with me on this map. So we can put two different mapping skills into one map and we'll hopefully make this map another good one to success hopefully I like the idea of the open pens to me it looks more natural what I've done with these ones is I've taken the in-game joints, animal pens, gone into editor, taken the uh, fences, gates and all that kind of stuff off, turn these into placeables. We're going to be going ahead and extending the meshes to inside the fence line so it looks as though that they do run completely free around inside the fence. Uh, the chickens will probably look at getting them to move more around the farm more freely as chickens do. trying to make it a little bit different than old country life and I've added some FS17 barns there's a the silo there that's a beautiful silo the old looking these two here are extended and I've, that's what I've got this thing here sitting at the back I forgot to change around to shift it down here so I can pick it up I've got to um, I actually have to replace that in a proper place oh, well, fence lines there well, that was clever I've started adding the trees and um, I'm just wondering whether they're too close together or they will be fine. So I'll be putting it up for debate if I'm putting too many trees along the sides of the roads, which I think is probably more natural to have. I prefer, oh, sorry about that, I prefer the trees be able to be cut down so gamers and oh here we go what the heck I'm hooked up on the fence line I think yeah there we go and that's how you do that <laughs> I 
I'm going to look at hoping to keep this um, map reasonably flat, this 4x one. The main reasoning behind that one is there's quite a few of us that like using small equipment, old time equipment, um, and the small stuff doesn't really like the steeper hills that I've got in my other maps. You know, I've been knocked around by the certain person that's saying that all my maps are basically the same and I need to step my game up, kind of. Uh, people like himself were the ones that almost made me quit um, doing public mods, but as spoken from a couple of friends have said to me, there's always got to be one dropkick that's going to try to knock you down, but you might as well just uh, roll with it. It's his opinion, and it's only his, although he claims that it's um, all he hears from his um, um, crew and stuff, so I don't know. I just think that if I'm making the maps the way that I want to make them, Nobody likes them. Hey, don't just move on. Don't have to download them. But I feel that I need to. Um, why is the sawmills there, but the wood trigger's not there? I'm sure I stuck it there. I'm obviously going to have to check that one out. All this is, as you can see, pretty much well flat. Um, I've got to do the terrain on it and that. Um, I've just done the sealed roads, I've done just a couple of dirt roads in. Um, I think it's got the diesel sails back where all the fuel liners, fuel tanks I mean. There's um, a few boats, I'll probably get those sorted out properly. I've gone and stuck all the um, light posts along all the uh, around the seal roads to make it look more basic but all the dirt roads I'm going to be adding into here with the um, fields are going to be just a little bit hilly to m make it possible where you can still join all the fields up and I had the trees in there and everything else. I like the idea of having a few trees. I never really got into cutting trees until somebody was saying they had a problem with old timers farm on um, actually the um, heating plant trigger would only accept a few logs and then I wouldn't do any more so what I thought I'd do a quick test was cut a couple of trees down in old timers and test it. I found myself probably three quarters of the day actually getting right into cutting the trees down and hauling them to the heating plant and had no problems doing that but found myself actually enjoying doing it so I keep going and going and going and now I find myself actually enjoy cutting trees down. I'll put a, a high rim around the sides of this map here just to try to do something different. Kiwi farm I had rocks going around. This one I've just got the um did I just no, I can't have done. Um so yeah these I've got trees on top, trees around the edges there. This is the manure sales area. 
I'll put one exit so far in and out of the map. I'll probably place a couple more where I'll be having traffic coming right around the boundary line along the seal road. Um, as I say, you've got to have traffic on it to give the maps pretty much my life as it looks pretty deserted as it is at the moment. That's one plot there that I've stuck in where Trevor can come and go. All of the light posts and everything I feel are all done. At the moment it's just all flat grass areas. I've done a couple of Uh, fields, that's the dairy which is which has all been done. This is the barn as you can see by the colour. That's the main farm there. This is where I've been putting trees along the sides. In these fields here they're not much Hills on these ones is yet. Uh, I started doing a bit of terrain on on here, as you can see when you get down lower. It has a few hills and stuff in it. I think the smaller mowers and that will work quite good. Oh, I'm sorry, what am I talking about? I mean, the uh, small tractors, old school tractors, all that kind of stuff will work out quite good on those ones. I'm going to be placing a few more of these kind of fields in where it's grass, but there's trees in it. The way I see it is that to, when you purchase this field, you've actually got to go ahead cut the trees down, make a bit of money on that, hopefully to get some money back um, when you sell the wood. And then you can start ploughing and do whatever you want on that one. These are the sheep we just fed, these will be where the pigs are. Across this side would be the cows and horses. They will be placeable so you can sell them. The fences around them are cuttable, same as the fences going right around the perimeter of the farm. Now what I'm looking at doing is, these buildings here cannot be removed. All the stuff here, the placeables, can be sold off. So you could have this building and these two buildings that are joined together permanently stuck on the map. But I've left this area over here nice and open so you can put your other placeables if you want production placeables or your own kind of home sitting over on this side that'd be fine you'll have that option but I'm just going to be going through and having a think about how high do I want this terrain to go um, so yeah, this is where I'm at at the moment. I've got to be really grateful for all the support I am getting on the Facebook page. There's a lot of guys that have joined up now, which I'm really thankful for. Um, getting the support from Johnny from J&J &J has been fantastic. Perrin is... is been unbelievable. My mate Perrin, he's sort of jumped in and trying to help out as much as he can to do whatever he can to get things done. JD, you're a great guy, man. Thank you so much for the videos you do do as well. Um, from Kiwi Farms right up to now, he has been our main 
preview video guy. He's the guy that does all the um, main videos for the releases and stuff, and he's um, he's a great guy, along with Johnny. Johnny's um, has been putting out some really good maps himself, like Akira, and I'm just working out this other one with him. Well, I'm trying to figure out how to fix a couple of problems on it. Oh, you'll get that smashed out very really soon, so you'll be seeing him with a new map coming out shortly. And, um, so yeah, this is probably about it for me, so I really do love your guys' support on my page, and really thankful for all of that. So, until we, um, this map all sorted out and I've decided with how high the terrain is going to be and that we'll just leave it at this for now but I just wanted to say thank you to all you guys for your support and I'll be enjoying doing this map with you with uh, J and J and J old Johnny boy might be coming on board which will be fantastic so um until then I'll chat with you guys later cheers guys